Hey what's up, in this video I'll be reviewing the ZK2430D FS electric bicycle controller which I extracted out of a Razer E300 electric scooter. Before I do this though I want to quickly go over some of the connectors. As you can see there are six key parts, the battery connector, the charger connector, the two red wires which connects to the on off switch, the motor connector, the brake connector and the throttle connector. So how do all of these work? Well, the battery connector connects to a 24 volt battery. The charger connector connects to the charging port. The two red wires connects to the on off switch, where one of these wires provides a 24 volt signal that is shorted to the other wire when the switch is turned on. The motor connector provides a 24 volt DC voltage to the motor. The brake connector is similar to the on off switch in that one of the wires provides a signal which is shorted to the other wire when the brake is pulled. The throttle connector has four pins where the two yellow pins are connected together, red is positive and green is negative. Now when the throttle is twisted the red pin gets connected to one of the yellow pins and the other yellow pin gets connected to the green pin. So effectively when the throttle is twisted the red pin is connected to the green pin. This triggers a magnetic relay within the controller which then provides the 24 volt DC to the motor. Now for the review. So the design of this is actually not that bad, you know it's got this heatsink at the top, it's fairly compact and the connections are pretty straightforward. My main snags are probably lack of connectors for auxiliary features and just the fact that it's single speed. That to me is a big one. But aside from that this thing serves its purpose pretty well and it seems to be quite robust. Thanks for watching.